Hey guys, welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. Today I'm working on some uh, accessories for the body cart. So what we've got is some 2x2, 3 16 wall square tubing. Cut four pieces down to two feet, four pieces down to eight inches, and then two pieces down to one foot. I don't know if we're going to get to these two pieces today, but we'll get these others done. And I've started making some brackets so that we can make essentially a spot for the frame to lay in and kind of give it a nice uh, little pad to sit on. So I'm going to take you over to the press, show you the jig I made for that, and then we'll weld some tabs on these, drill some holes here, weld these onto these so that we have a nice little short T, and grind off all the welds on these, or the, uh, the burrs on these from cutting them. Okay, so what I've made here is just a piece of quarter inch plate with two pieces of, core of uh, I think that's one inch angle iron. It's welded on, tacked on the inside. And that, the distance there is about three and a half inches between the two uh, angle iron. And it works by putting this piece that we want to bend, which is just another piece of quarter inch, uh, three inch flat bar. Put that on there, space it as close to even as you can there. And then we want it as close to center under the pin as possible. And we got a piece of three inch by one inch bar that is gonna, we're gonna use it to press everything into place. Make sure that's locked down and put some air to it. That's all there is to it. It's a nice little bend in it. That's it. That's the whole process. Then we're going to weld some studs on the back side of these so we can put them through a hole in that square tubing and uh, kind of have a couple different places that we can set them in there for use. So let's uh, stack these with the others and probably drill our holes next then we'll do some welding.
Okay, so probably tomorrow I'll get start getting these uh, plates built. But what the plan is is to put four of them with a short stud, three quarter inch. That's these holes are three quarter inch. Then these can go in the hole, and depending on which way that is sticking into the uh, into the body cart, you either have three three mounting locations inboard, or you can flip them and go outboard with them, giving you essentially nine. Well, center one's going to stay in the center, so it gives you uh, five mounting locations. And like I said, these are going to be. I'm going to do four of these short, and then I'm going to do four more with a threaded rod on them that would let me adjust it for uh, for level. So, um, like I said, we'll probably get started on that tomorrow. But these are primed, they can sit overnight, and then we'll get these painted, like I said, probably blue. And then I'll probably paint these like a red or a yellow or something. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, or I'm going to go catch some dinner, and we'll see you tomorrow. There we have it. So what he did was uh, drill a half inch hole in the center of the plate and then on the threaded rod I turned, put it in the lathe and I turned the end, uh, one end down to just just over a half inch and then I pressed it into the plate and then just for, and then I welded that in and ground it down and then I put one of these square nuts on the end here. I'm gonna focus, there we go. One of these square nuts, just threaded it down that way I could weld it all the way around. So this threaded rod is screwed into the nut, which is welded to the plate, and the rod is also welded there. Um, and then what I'll be doing is adding an additional square nut on here, and a big washer, and then I've got some thrust bearings coming. And then when you put this down through one of those holes I drilled in the, in the square tubing, it'll be adjustable for height. So these are a little simpler. Uh, I took some thick wall round tubing that I had. I put it on the lathe. I cut it down to uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter. I drilled a three quarter inch hole in the plate and then I pressed the uh, the bung in there, I guess the piece of tubing, and uh, welded it from the inside. So those are made just to be as flat as possible on the on the square tubing and they're not adjustable but they'll have you know places to sit so so these are going to fit something like that and then they can be spun and you have three different locations that you can put it in and depending on which way you slide the long piece into the cart you can either have it pointed out or pointed in and give you two inch spacing with this one being the center of the bar and then I think I will probably drill a couple of holes in the top of the uh, cart to use some of these as well.
Hey guys, well, apologize here. The uh, wind noise coming into the microphone was so bad it, it was uh, nearly impossible to hear anything. So what I'm talking about here is I built the uh, standoffs with the threaded rod, which is three quarters of an inch in diameter. And uh, then I have a square nut, two washers, and eventually I plan to put a thrust bearing in between those washers. You can see that there with the square nut, so that makes it adjustable so you can adjust up the height um, to try and level something out on the stand. Additionally, uh, I can swap the uh, one with the post for one without the uh, ones you saw earlier with the three quarter inch diameter tube that, that mounts in there. Like that. And because these holes are two inches apart, it gives you uh, quite a bit of variance and then that long tube can be pulled out flipped over and you have additional inboard uh, mounting locations for picking up frame rails or whatever and each of those holes are two inches apart so that gives you a total of uh, I think I worked it out of five mounting locations then they could slide into the bottom and you saw me uh, a few minutes ago drill some holes in the top rails and I drilled all the way through so again the uh, threaded rod can be placed down through there giving additional mounting positions. I plan to in the future probably add a few more holes down the rail although I think I'm going to wait for like an annular uh, drill uh, for those just because drilling a three quarter inch hole with a regular bit just wears you out. Um, I was tired of drilling. Then I'm showing you underneath there, I welded on some uh, some of those square nuts into the bottom. You saw that when I had it flipped over and drilling all the holes. And that's so I can run a three quarter inch bolt up in there and then you can pull that uh, blue rail out, you know, maybe 20 inches of the 24 its length is and give you a lot of adjustability and the ability to tighten it up and push it up towards the uh, top of the tube there, locking it all in. That was my thinking for reason to add those. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.